Praise the Lord, sons and daughters of the Most High God. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is March 22nd, 2023. God gave me a message on March 12th of 2023. The reason I did not give out this message is because he asked me not to right away. And also because I landed up in the hospital. The enemy did not like me receiving this message. He tried to destroy me. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. And I had plenty of prayer warriors praying for me. I want to thank every one of you who always pray for me. Thank you, Jesus, for my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ and the bride of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Before I bring forth this message, I would like to pray for each and every one of you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this spoken word you have given me on the 12th of March. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the victory you have given unto me over the attack of the enemy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for always giving me the victory over the enemy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me. And thank you for loving my brethren. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for getting us ready to go home with thee. In Jesus' name, I love you, Father God. I adore you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, O Most High God. Holy Spirit. I thank you for this word you brought forth unto me from the Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, Eternal Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love, mercy, and grace. Amen and amen. God's spoken words to me. Daughter, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I know the beginning and I know the ending of all things. I am he who is, who has come in the flesh. I am Yeshua HaMashiach, the great I am, and I am coming for my bride and body. No more, no more will I delay, for I have delayed too long for my people. My lost sheep do not want any anything to do with me or my word, nor my free gift of salvation. I am hearing the cries of my people who are ready to meet me in the air and come home with me. But I do not want any of my lost sheep to perish. That is why I am waiting patiently for them to come to me and I and turn away from their sinful nature so that I may cleanse them from their sins. I am very patient toward my lost sheep. But if they keep rejecting me and my Holy Spirit, I will have to come and take my bride and body home and leave them behind to do to go through the wrath of man and my wrath. I love all of my creation, but they choose to not love me back. Over 2,000 years, I have waited for them to come to me and receive me as their Lord and God, and they will not, so I shall come for my people and my judgment shall all I also bring with me. And they will not understand what is going on. It shall be like a woman in travail. The judgment shall come down quickly. And many shall scream. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when I come for my bride and body. Repent, repent, repent. I 
And then Jesus says, For I am coming. Love Yeshua, Hamashiach, the great King and Lord. Time, one o'clock. Means unity. 36. Spiritual enlightenment. So it, he finished talking to me at 1.36. He's asking you to focus in your spirit on your spiritual life. Then he gave me Luke 21, 28. Look up and lift up your head, for your redemption draws nigh. So, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, be ready, be ready, be ready for at any moment. At any moment, at any moment, he's going to come and snatch us all away and take us home where our hearts desire to be. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And Maranatha. And continue praying for me. I love you all. Mwah. God bless. According to the grace of God which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire.